Yo, yo, hoi, guess what we're gonna go do? We're going to town in Finn's van. So yeah, we just have a couple of groceries we gotta get, some things we gotta do. Finn's gotta get propane for the van, and our uncle is coming up to the ranch. Imagine that. He always says he wants to come up, but he never does, but he's finally going. So I'm excited to see him. He'll be here later today. There's a lot of new people, I find. You're gonna have to be fast. Yeah. Stop. Full wheel drive van. So this is the first time I'm driving Finn's van. Feels good. Now this is a pretty cool van, I got to say. You got the back, and that right there, that folds down to a bed. I guess we might not be doing it right now, but maybe later. And I like the steering wheel. We looked at a different van, and oh, we looked at a different van, and the steering wheel was. Like way different. This one looks really good though. Driving a van. What are you thinking? Oh, it looks so sexy, but I don't know. We gotta, but I gotta inspect it and look at everything, make sure it's in good enough condition. Because these vans are old and they have issues, and you don't want to buy one that has too many issues. But. Okay, we're going to put the car up. You're not plugged in. Nope. First stop, we gotta get some propane. So we gotta put some propane in her because she runs off a propane heater and it hasn't been working. So we finally got the connection fixed. That's what was wrong before we got that fixed. So now we just gotta... The guy gave us a hand because it's mine and Finn's first time putting propane in a car. So he got us hooked up and I forgot to mention the girls came with us. What is going on in here? TikTok. Hey, so how do you feel that Finn's got his own van, Kate? I like it. I like where his life's going. Speak to the microphone. I like where his life's going. Ah! Are you sad he's gonna be leaving? I'm sad we're gonna be separated, all of us, but it'll be fine. It'll be good. Mm. Cause everybody's gotta leave dimension. Duke of Arrakis! Silence! Paul Atreides! We recently watched Dune 2, part two. And, well, they watched the first one, I already I had already seen the first one, so we went to the second seen the first one. one. Second movie, really good. Highly suggested. I'm gonna read the books. I'm gonna read all the books. It's gonna happen. Don't bite me. Don't bite me. You're biting me, I'm biting you because you're biting me. Propane done? We are good on propane. Let's Woo! go. How much did that cost you? Like six bucks. Six bucks? Like six bucks for propane. That's so expensive. It's so expensive. You're rich. Man. Why do you have a Canadian sticker on that? It was on here when I got it. So since Finn bought his van, it's a great looking van, but there are some things that need changing and that he needs to fix, he wants to fix. He wants to make it look good, look livable. So we've been stopping by various stores and shops to uh, look at just things that he wants, that he wants to kit out the van with. Right now, it's flooring and he needs some glue. We found everything we were looking for, got the flooring, got the glue. Now let's talk about guns. I like guns, I really do. I posted on my Instagram story of me holding an AR-15 and I got so many comments, so many bad comments of people saying, why would you need that? Why do you need that? I'm unfollowing you. So I think, that's silly. I like guns. I think they're fun. They are good fun. We made our way back to the cabin and we had ourselves something of a party in Finn's van. It's a good time hanging out. As much as I do love the mountains and the fact that Finn has his own van and we can hang out, it still makes me miss the ocean. I gotta keep it real. In secret, we flew Mackenzie's parents up to our ranch. We didn't tell her about it, we wanted it to be a surprise. Here they are sitting in the hot tub, we're all about to get in, so here's how that went. I'm the first. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd say she's excited. I think so, I think too. So. Mm. <laughs> Wait a minute. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm moving. Is Mr. Mitt and Miss Dina, and why in the world did y'all are y'all okay with your daughter coming up here and staying with us rednecks? Yes, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Why is that? Because we got to spend some time with you guys at our place, mm. and actually, you know, there's it's a longer story, but we won't go into that right now. We knew each other back at another time and this reunion brought us back together and we got to rediscover each other in ways that we didn't know. I think both families surprised each other in a place where we were like, I like these people. I like that. Mm -hmm. Now, one last question. How do you feel about me dating your daughter? Because you guys have watched us on YouTube a little bit, eh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Just a little bit. Yes. We know you by your family first. So we knew your family um, and it's just really interesting to see the things that we've watched with your family, spend time with y'all, invest in you. Um, you're such an amazing young man. Um, and I wasn't expecting, we did not see you coming. You came out of nowhere. And just to see y'all's connection over the weeks continue to grow and the places that y'all have so many things in common. I mean, how could we, how could we not deny that there was something here just to see if y'all were gonna continue to connect? How could we not let her come and play with y'all for a little while? that spoke a lot to us, that you would honor Mackenzie. And when our presence wasn't here, and then when we've been here, we've seen so much about you that we've really enjoyed. So how could we not see the beauty of the two of y'all? Just let y'all discover whatever was there. I appreciate the possibilities that. Possibilities of that. Y'all yeah. keep giving me praise. I like this. Yeah, we, we we are, keep on giving it. But what do you like about Jack, babe? Yeah, what do you like? I've said before, when when you came on the scene, that brought it back into a place where we did. We started watching some of the Zatara mm -hmm. videos, but then by chance I caught one of your videos mm -hmm. and it was the one on your Atlantic trip back and you know, the whole deal with the sale. When I saw that point in time where you took responsibility mm -hmm. for that and then so I caught integrity. another one of your other videos mm -hmm. where you were just being real mm -hmm. about what am I gonna do with my life. Yeah. Now for me, separately, I have learned in business and in life, sometimes the best answer to a question is, I don't know. And that's a fair answer. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times we try to put a facade on it and we try to make it look like we know the answer. But to be honest about that and just say, hey, I don't know. But then you kind of deflect to, but here's what I know. When you said, hey, look, I just want to be, I want to be that guy that you can count on. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I also want to be able to contribute. Those are two things that for us, we have our own separate lives. Mm -hmm. We know it's important to us. Mm -hmm. But that was a moment that mm -hmm. we connected and I went, this guy's got potential. Great foundation yeah. for substance. And when McKinsey confirms it, then there you go. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you yeah, guys you for doing this interview. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. All right, that's all. My Uncle Brian did make it up. He drove up here. He doesn't like being on camera very much, so I didn't film too much of him, but it was good fun. I'm so glad he got here. Uh, I know I just introduced Dina and Mitt Morgan, and they stayed with us for five days. I was having too good of a time to film. I took Mitt out on the land, me and Dina, just everybody really. We bonded and had such a great connection. Haley Pitts, stick up her butt! Haley Pitts, stick up her butt! Mitt's nipples! No, wait, you were trying to say the other one. Yeah! What is that one? Oh, stink smells like stinky feet. Parmesan cheese! Oh, yeah. Yeah! But in the end, they had things they needed to get back to down in Texas. All right. Bye -bye Seeing as we were in Bozeman, me and Mackenzie decided to go downtown, walk around, and have ourselves a grand old time. Sit on it. Yo, look at this. Selfie with the orange. Ooh. Ooh. Is that right? Oh, that is bad. <laughs> We're both trying to use our cameras. Ah! Thumbnail! Oh bones. yeah! What? Hey! <laughs> what the hell's going on? What the hell? <laughs> God, I'm gonna put you in the barbed wire. Oh, no. <laughs> right in the barbed wire. Oh, oh don't touch it. Ah! Okay, let's okay. get on the road. <sighs> Don't tell you I'll make money. No, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs>
Woo! <laughs>